Hey guys, happy Monday and welcome back to my channel. So today we are finishing off the top five of 2017 series that I had going last week. And today's category are beauty gadgets. <laughs> so this was sort of a last minute thing that I realized late last week could be a category for me. There are certainly quite a number of like gadgety type things that I use that honestly I don't want to be without ever and um, I definitely wanted to share those with you. Um, some of them I have had for more than just the last year um, and actually the majority are new to me this year. <laughs> so I'm going to link everything down below. These are not gadgets that you have to have. These are total extras that um, I just think are pretty great. So don't feel like I'm telling you like you got to go out and get these things. But I'm going to start with my teeth. So I was very lucky growing up. I never had to have braces. My teeth are just very straight. And I remember being in high school and thinking, you know what I want to do for a living? I want to be a dental hygienist <laughs> like that is what I wanted to do when I was in high school because I was just so obsessed with teeth and you know having straight teeth and a clean mouth and you know so I've always done a really good job of taking care of my teeth however um, this year I discovered something that I wish that I would have been using for years and years and years when it comes to my teeth and it is such a simple thing it's a water pick a water flosser. So I happen to still have the wisdom teeth in my mouth because they grew in perfectly straight along with all of my other teeth. So I have a lot of teeth in my mouth and the doctor, my dentist actually prefers that I keep those teeth in because I am taking really good care of them and they can help prevent bone loss and as long as they are not causing me any issues, there's no reason to take them out at this point. So, but the one thing that he did recommend was using a water pick to help get um, maybe some like food particles and bacteria and stuff from, you know, the back far reaches of my mouth, I guess, that are kind of difficult to get to with a toothbrush. And at first I was like, mm, I don't know if it's really in worth, if it's really worth investing in this, you know, it's like 60 bucks, I don't know. Blah, blah, blah. I ended up going and getting one and I got mine at Costco, but if, don't worry if you don't have a Costco membership, this exact one is available um, at Target. I will link everything down below. Um, but dang, does that make a difference? It all, it flushes things out of my teeth that just absolutely astounds me. That's it's like this is too much information. I'm sure it's like TMI overload. But um, I floss my teeth every night, and after flossing, I use the water pick, and I'm constantly amazed at how much stuff still comes out from my gums. Um, so I do have some pretty decent like pockets in between my teeth. So it's very important for me to keep those clean so that no cavities form and just, you know, no infections or anything like that. I've noticed the biggest difference since starting to use this. It is absolutely massive. My mouth feels so much fresher all the time. I just know that when I use this, all of those food particles at the end of the day, like they get out and I have a clean, fresh mouth that I'm going to bed with, and it's amazing. I love this thing. Um, uh, careful not to squirt it on your tonsils, though, because let me tell you, I've done that a couple times, and that really hurts. <laughs> this thing does have some power, um, and you do have to be careful with the angle so that you're not pushing food up further into your gums. I did get a tutorial from my dentist, and I would probably recommend doing that before going in with a water pick just you know just to be safe um, you certainly don't want to cause any damage to your gums or push food particles further up in there where they can cause some serious issues along with the teeth let's talk about uh, toothbrushes um, for a very long time up until about three or four years ago, all I used was just a manual toothbrush. 
and um, Craig and I invested in the Sonicares like I think it was about four years ago now and we've gone through a couple um, the first ones were the ones with like the larger head that you like screw on and I have to admit those were not the greatest um, so when those started to futz out we just decided to go back to Costco and get the newest generation one even if, even though they were a little bit more expensive um, this particular one is fantastic. I'll link it down below. I don't remember the name of this. I'll link it. But um, this makes a big difference too, you guys. It really does help to get way more plaque, way more, you know, like just stuff that is in your teeth. Um, it cleans my mouth so much better. I will also use this on my tongue. I'm a big believer in brushing your tongue. A lot of bacteria can collect there and um, it always amazes me when people tell me that they don't brush their tongue. Like I don't know why you wouldn't do that. Um, you know it just it makes your mouth feel so much fresher but anyway I, I love this toothbrush. I think it's worth the investment. It keeps my mouth so much cleaner. The dentist does not really have to do much scraping on my teeth whenever I go in. He's always really impressed with how little tartar and plaque buildup that I have. Um, and I get, I basically put much of that credit towards this toothbrush. It really has made a huge difference for me. Um, Clarisonic. I have used this for years and years and I will not be without it. Um, I know there are some people whose skin is very sensitive and they cannot use a Clarisonic even with the most gentle head that they offer which is their cashmere. Um, for me, I just I can't live without it personally. I have enlarged pores, I have oily skin and this this piece of equipment here really has helped to keep my skin so much clearer. It has kept it exfoliated, um, smooth. I just notice a big difference when I don't use it. It is very rare that I go to bed without using my Clarisonic at night. Typically I will take off my makeup first with like an initial cleanse and then I put a couple pumps of my whatever cleanser I'm using at the time on here, run it over my face and um, rinse everything off and my face just looks so clean it feels so clean um you know i go in with my skincare i feel like things absorb a lot better um i just i just love this thing <laughs> i will always always have a clarisonic um you guys know that i recently got rid of the foreo luna um foreo luna might be a really great option for you if you do have very sensitive skin cleansing devices just hands down do a better job of keeping your skin cleaner um you can just get like a brush um just one of those manual really soft brushes that they sell at like the drugstore to clean your face with i just recommend using something other than just the pads of your fingers to wash your face because you're not getting as deep into the pores to clean them out um for me this is like a deep clean every single night and it just makes a difference and i love it and there's just if i lost this one um, I'd go buy another one that same day. Like I love the Clarisonic that much. So I realize they are not for everybody, but for me, it's a holy grail item and I will not be without it. Okay, let's talk about a couple of hair things. I'm sure you guys know what's coming. This is my Rudy the Root Lifter by Volume. Um, Volume has uh, three different options now. They have their original, which has a much larger head on it. They have the Petite, which is actually just slightly bigger than this guy, and then the Rudy is the latest in their collection. So I have done a video on it. Rather than, you know, discussing all the details of this, I will link the video down below. Suffice it to say, though, I love this thing. I don't use it every single day. Um, I could, but a lot of times I'm just honestly too lazy to use it. But it is the easiest thing in the world to boof up my hair, give it body, and um, body that lasts all day long. Um, I recently saw somebody else do a review of this, and 
I noticed that the person didn't move enough of their hair over when they were using it and so they were seeing kind of that waffle design kind of popping through and they also kept the um, this crimper, I guess you could call it, clamped on for longer than a second, which is not something that you should do. I mean, you literally just close it down, open it, go down, close it, and then, you know, as far down as you want to go. You do not want to, like, leave this clamped on your hair. You also want to make sure that you are using the minimum amount of heat necessary with this because it's really not necessary to crank up the heat. You're just going to fry your hair and it's not going to make the crimp any hold any longer or more permanently than if you just use the lowest heat setting. Really truly like this thing is amazing and I know it's expensive but if you are someone like me who has fine thin hair and you don't want to tease your hair and you just you just want something that is a lot more long-lasting than hairspray and you know the teasing and uh, this just is I think the best option yes it's an expensive little gadget but dang is it handy to have on the days where I do want to take the time to do my hair and I want my hair to look good the entire day so I love this thing I think it's totally worth it you have to use it properly in order for you know to see like obviously the best results but I don't know I love it I think it's fantastic and then the last hair gadget is the newest thing sorry I am I sit on an exercise ball I'm sure most of you guys know that if you watch my vlogmas series but yes that is why I bounce around a lot of times um but anyway uh the t3 hair dryer yeah so I picked this up in December and uh it is replacing a Conair hair dryer that I had probably for about four years and I noticed a big difference in my hair a huge difference this the heat from this is extremely even it is um, not scorching it there's like no hot spots um, it dries my hair faster it makes my hair softer um, it is so much less noisy than the one that I had before I can't say enough good things about this now I picked up mine at Costco where it's pretty substantially discounted from some other retailers um, so if you do have a Costco membership it might be worth seeing if you can get your hands on this through there but um, uh, the Sephora website also has this available in the sales section right now so um, you know if you don't have a Costco card you can buy this other places but I love this and uh, I'm a convert to the to the high-end hair dryer market so um, yeah good decision this has made a big difference in my hair you guys so anyway those are the gadgets those are the top five gadgets that I loved this year um, and have loved for years and years so let me know if you guys have any questions and let me know what your top gadgets were this past year. I'm curious to see what you guys fell in love with as well. So thank you so much for watching. This concludes the series. And then tomorrow going forward, we are back just to like regular Melanie channel stuff. So uh, if you are new, I hope you'll subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.